Hello, and welcome to the newest evolution of Shimadzu's mobile x-ray system, the Mobile Dart Evolution MX8 version. This training video will illustrate fundamental operations of the mobile unit, as well as patient imaging. We will cover system startup, digital acquisition setup, and of course, how to maneuver the unit to and from the patient exam area. Let's get started. The new MX8 mobile system is designed to provide rapid, powerful examination support with enhanced visibility and refined mobility in nearly any situation. Today, I will be walking you through how to properly use this cordless mobile x-ray system, as well as highlighting all of the new and updated features. When you're ready to use the MX8 mobile system, begin by making sure that the unit is unplugged. You will notice that the cable now retracts into the right rear side of the unit, just below waist height, making it easier to access. When not in use, the MX8 mobile system should always be stored plugged into an outlet. This will allow it to remain fully charged and ready to use at a moment's notice. Activate the unit, turn on the power switch located to the left of the drive handle, enter your four digit code, and press the key button icon. It is now unlocked and ready for use. One of the first improvements you will notice is the increased field of visibility over the top of the unit. This is due to the new Glide View collapsible column. Now technologists of nearly any height can enjoy a virtually unobstructed field of view when driving the unit. The MX-8 mobile system is easier than ever to maneuver now too, thanks to the new adjustable height drive handlebar and power assist driving system. The drive handlebar can now be extended or collapsed by pressing the both side buttons simultaneously to better accommodate technologists. The Power Assist Driving System is easily engaged by simply placing your hands on the drive handlebar and squeezing to release the built-in brake. With a bit of light pressure, you can go forward, reverse, or turn with ease. The system is so responsive that it can be easily controlled using one hand. If you find yourself in a situation where power assist is not functioning, the emergency brake release button will allow you to manually move the unit. When you're ready to use and position the x-ray tube unit, press any one of the seven all free buttons. They are located at the top and the grip of the handles to either side of the collimator, and on the handlebars on either side of the arms. And finally, there's a switch on the back of the docking post. Pressing any one of these all free buttons releases the electromagnetic locks. When the collimator is freed, you'll notice that it moves much more easily thanks to a new feature called Easy Glide, which reduces the amount of force necessary to move and position the arm. This allows arm rotation up to 270 degrees in either direction. The arm is capable of extending up to 47 inches. The x-ray tube can move vertically from 28 inches up to 80 inches off of the floor, which allows positioning to be completed in one simple step. 
If you find yourself in a tight area and need to move the MX-8 mobile system a few inches forward or backward, there is a feature you can use called the Inch Mover. Located on the front face of the collimator, Inch Mover allows you to move the portable a few inches forward or backward without having to return to the drive handle. If additional rotation of the collimator is required, this knob can be loosened to allow an extra point of articulation. The collimator can be tilted both ways. When the collimator head is unlocked, the light on the side of the column will illuminate. The light will blink when the unit is charging. The LED collimator button provides a lighted visual guide of the irradiation field. The light can be adjusted using the field adjustment knobs here. An additional set of field adjustment knobs have been added to the back side of the collimator unit as well, making it easier for the technologist to access the knobs in positions where the head may be facing the other way. The collimator LED can also be turned on from the panel, from the exposure hand switch, or from an optional wireless hand switch that can also be added. The touch panel monitor for the digital radiographic system is located on the base. Turn on the DR system by pressing the large blue button to the top left of the day screen. Then turn on the DR panel by pushing the power button located on the side. Storage on the back of the unit has been upgraded to provide a space for paperwork and a charging cable for the panels. There are then slots sized to accommodate a smaller panel, a larger panel, and your grid cap. At the bottom, there is a compartment for additional storage. An anti-theft locking device has also been incorporated to protect the panels and prevent unauthorized personnel from removing them from the unit. Press the keys to unlock. The MX-8 mobile system's interactive screen has been upgraded to 19 inches, making it easier to interact with and read. After the DR software boots up, you will see a logon screen that can be customized for your facility and your technologist. Logging on will take you to the main operating screen where you can select your patient from the patient list. You will then be taken to the main imaging screen. Above the screen, you will find the unit's control panel. There, you can read the battery strength on the top right side and access the radiographic selections and LED collimator button switch. On the top of the digital screen, you can find an indicator for the signal strength between the panel and the unit. A green indicator lets you know that the system is ready to make an exposure. Activate the exposure using the hand switch. Once you've made your exposure, you can send out the image wirelessly and then return to the main work screen to select your next patient. After you finish with your exams, select the computer from the top of the DR touch screen, select shut down, and this will shut down the DR software. Then park the tube head. And don't forget to charge the unit.